from the Great Locomotive Chase, based on the true story of a small group of Union Army soldiers who stole a Confederate train in a daring mission during the Civil War. And now, 162 years later, President Biden awarding the Medal of Honor posthumously to two of those soldiers, Private Philip Shadrach and George Wilson, who were from Ohio. Let's bring in Chief Historian at the American Battlefield Trust, Gary Edelman. Gary, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me, Nick. Absolutely. Gary, when I heard about this story, it immediately uh, gave me a sense of pride and joy because these men, uh, through advocacy, are being recognized for their mission. Talk about their mission and why it was so important. So their mission, this is a group of soldiers and civilians who are going deep into Confederate territory, not to fight a battle, but rather to actually steal a locomotive, take that locomotive, move it northward toward Chattanooga, Tennessee, and do as much damage as they can, telegraphs, and especially a few key bridges and tunnels. If they can blow them up, they can disrupt Confederate efforts to supply their armies and uh, really to run the Confederacy. And Gary, we're talking about a time before, you know, we had uh, radios where I could talk to you through a, a secret at IFB and communicate that way. These guys were working off of limited technology. Indeed. So they had speed of light technology through the telegraph, but they're tapping out individual letters. And if you could cut those telegraph lines, it was very hard to get movements and uh, messages in any direction, in this case, to the north to warn Confederates that a train had been stolen. And Gary, these two soldiers are never recognized for their heroism. Why do you think it took so long, 162 years, for them to finally get this honor? Well, sometimes history is, is messy. Uh, we certainly didn't have the records back then that we have now. A lot of people were involved and they rushed sort of, these were the first medals of honor to be awarded. And so they're gonna award them first to the people who were hanged or abused uh, first and whose names made the initial stories. Uh, and you know, sometimes things are just a little bit messy and the medal of honor process takes a long time to happen. And finally this uh, wrong has been righted and these two privates will Wilson and Shadrach have been included. Give us a few details about this uh, actual train heist and what went down. I think my favorite part, uh, this is an elaborate heist. They tried to plan it in another way, uh, but eventually they settled on a town called uh, Big Shanty uh, near now Kennesaw, Georgia, and they were going to hijack this train. There was thought to be no telegraph there at the time, so they could escape. They had 22 people. They were supposed to have more, and a couple more would have come in handy as they took the train and started moving north and cutting telegraph wire, ripping up track, disabling opposing locomotives. This is not easy stuff, but the... Uh, Confederate conductor, a guy named Fuller, starts running after them on foot and then takes one of those hand carts and starts chasing after them. And because the uh, raiders, Andrews raiders as they're known, were slowed down by all sorts of things, not the least of which is disrupting track, uh, Fuller was actually able to get to a locomotive and catch up to them. And it literally became a locomotive chase as the Union moved to the north. Eventually, they didn't have enough time to stop for water or fuel, and they are going to have to scatter into the woods where Confederate soldiers will pursue them and the considering the jaw-dropping details of this train ice why do you think it took so long and why have Americans not heard of it well, they have no excuse for not hearing about it. There were a couple of books and articles about it. Then you had one of the greatest movies of all time made by the genius Buster Keaton, a silent movie called The General in 1926, and it is a masterpiece. And then it's uh, you know uh, done again in 1956 uh, by Disney in this excellent Fess Parker movie, which has everything: chasing, drama, uh, good guys, bad guys, fist fights. Uh, you know, it really has everything. So I think previous generations did know about this. And I think like so many stories of history, it's sort of gotten lost. Maybe it's time for another uh, great locomotive chase movie. And maybe something like this, maybe something like, uh, you know, uh, medals of honor being awarded. And you see some of the raiders um, there at the graves of some of the other raiders in Chattanooga National Cemetery. Maybe it's time again. And maybe this is the right moment to uh, reengage that story. And Gary, this morning, we salute those men and their efforts and their mark in history. Gary Edelman, thank you so much. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.